So here's the deal. Yes, you can lose weight with the law of attraction. You don't have to go to a gym. You don't have to exercise. You don't have to stick to a diet. You don't need a trainer. I've done it. If you've not heard my story, go and have a look at the playlist. I've done like half a dozen or more videos on all of the intricate and specific pieces that unfolded in my journey of weight loss, a journey that saw me lose half of my body weight in less than one year. And the weight has stayed away. Friend, I used to be 125 or 130 kilograms. I was fat all of my life, bullied at school for being fat. Now I'm trim, taut, terrific, about 70 kilos in the best shape of my life. I eat what I want, when I want, the weight just doesn't come back. But there's a part of the story I've not shared with you. See, success with the law of attraction and law of attraction weight loss success comes down to one thing. I've been able to reverse engineer my own journey and pinpoint the moments in time that made the difference, that corrected the course of the ship. And I want to share something with you today I've not told you about before, I've not told anybody about before. But it just goes to show that the key to law of attraction weight loss success is all about your alignment. Let me tell you all about it. Come on, let's get into it. Hello, you gorgeous soul, here on a mission with a purpose and destiny to fulfill that promise in your heart. It's calling your name, friend. Do you hear it? I hope that you're moving forward, and I hope that when you're falling over, you're being gentle with yourself. I hope every day you're doing your best to be your best, recognizing that you will let yourself down. You will let other people down. That's not the problem. The problem is moving forward from those things. That's where most of us get stuck and we fall out of alignment, and this is what today is all about. And the proof of it is standing right before you, a man who weighs about half of what he used to all of his adult life, and who did nothing for it except come into strong alignment and hold it. Let me unpack this for you, but before I do, a little bit of administration. My name's Ben, this is Elevate. Hello friend, thank you for joining me today. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because I'm here every single day talking about this stuff. Talking about living your dreams, actually manifesting the results that so far have escaped you. And you can. You just need to understand the mechanics of it. And as someone who now stands on the other side of successful manifestation, I can tell you now, you don't need magic prayers. You don't need magic affirmations. You don't need any of these things. What you need is alignment. Now, if you've seen any of my videos about my journey with weight loss, losing all of that weight with the law of attraction, you will have seen photos of me uh, when I was 130 kilos, twice the weight I am now. You would have seen, in fact, there's a video, I've played it to you before, it's only 20 or 30 seconds long, but let me slam it in here real quick, just so you can actually get a visual of what I look, and this is what I looked like all of my adult life. All right, let's play the clip. What did you think of Big Ben? So that's what I looked like all of my life. That person climbing out of that helicopter in that green shirt, that was me. Now look at me. I weigh like 70 kilos and I don't, I don't work for it. I don't, I've never, I, I, don't, I don't gym or train or I don't, it's alignment. And I've told you the story about one day hopping out of the shower and I had my towel over my shoulder and I was walking past my mirror out of the corner of my eye I saw a reflection that caused me to take pause right where I was. It was the reflection of the Ben that you see before you now. Trim, slim, well-defined. 
Have you ever noticed you've been walking somewhere and maybe you've seen something, you've stopped and you've gone, what? It was, it was one of those moments. And I stopped and I turned and of course what I saw was original and overweight Ben, the Ben that always was. But something changed inside of me at that moment. There was a physical change inside of my spirit and my energy in that moment. It's like I'd seen something. Once you've seen something, you can't unsee it. You can't unring a bell. I knew I had seen something. I knew somewhere there was that version of me, trim and slim and looking good and feeling good and younger than ever I knew. Somewhere there was that version of me. Now all I had to do was figure out how do I breathe life into that version of Ben instead of breathing life into the old version of Ben? And what it came down to was alignment. Every single time I would consider myself and my own body image, I would see what I saw in that reflection. I would call that my truth. And the reflection that I saw as the original version of me, I would call the lie. And you might say, Ben, that's absolutely crazy. I'm telling you, friend, I would stand in front of the mirror and I'd say, I love you, Ben. I'm thankful for you, mate. But this version, this time has passed. There's a new version. That's the truth. That's where we're going. That's where we're existing. That's where we're living. That's where the energy's leading us. I'm on board. I'm going there. I'm going places. I don't have to make this happen. It's just going to unfold and I'm here. And then I'd say to the universe and to the Lord, give me the ears to hear your leading. Give me the eyes to see what it is I need to see. Give me the tenderness to hear the pulling of your spirit. And in this act, in this season of coming into alignment, this act of obedience in this season to what I had seen versus what I was seeing, is where it all began to happen. I came into alignment with the new version of me and I stayed with it and I stayed with it and I stayed with it even though all of the proof and evidence said that it wasn't true. And the weight began to fall off. Ten months later, I had lost almost half of my body weight. I had lost... Um, gone from 125 or 130 kilos down to about 69 kilos. And like I said, I didn't have any trainers or exercise programs or diets. It was just listening to my body, listening to my spirit and agreeing with the new version of me. That's alignment. It's agreeing with a version or an outcome that is not yet manifest. That is alignment. When all of you vibrates and resonates with that which is unseen, that is alignment. That is what gets you there. Now here comes the proof. This is the part I've not told you or anyone else. About six or seven months after losing all of that weight and it's staying off, this was probably a year after coming out of my nervous breakdown. So I really started doing some solid inner work. I'd been in bed for over a year, nearly a year and a half on so much medication, I lost everything, had a total nervous breakdown. Coming out of that, I needed to figure out who I actually was. Not the stories I told myself all of my life. I had to figure out who Ben was. I, I moved back to the countryside and I found myself and I healed and I started my journey of inner work and that's when all the weight fell off. That was the new version of me that was being born. And as I healed and as I became whole again, <clears throat> I started to feel like, you know what, it's time to get back into life. I was always Mr. Corporate with very successful career, always good in the boardroom and good in big business and good with those sorts of meetings and all that sort of stuff. So I thought, let's get back into it. You're healed. Well done, Ben. Pat yourself on the back. Look at you. You've come through the fire. Let's get back in alive. So I went back into the corporate world. Got a big corporate job with a big pay packet, running a team of people all across the state for a big, big media company. I met a girl. I dated her. The only girl I've dated in the 10 years it's been since my divorce. And we were together for that whole season. It was probably almost a year. She's a wonderful person. Very kind, a loving, gentle person with a great story of her own and a great destiny to move into. But something began to happen. 
I began to feel as if I was falling out of alignment. I couldn't explain it. But I did the thing that we all do. My human got stars in its eyes and I got stubborn and I said, let's go, let's go, let's do this, let's do this. Mr. Corporate, Mr. This, this is what you do. You get in a relationship, you have a house, you da 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 da. And I threw myself straight back into the fire. Guess what happened? Without changing anything about what I eat and how I do things and live my life, in less than a year, I gained 15 kilograms back. How does that even happen? I changed nothing about what I eat and how I function in life. What happened was I fell out of alignment. I healed and I got so excited by my healing that I ran straight back into the arms of the previous version of me because that's what I knew. And what you know, even when it's dysfunctional, feels safe. Why do you think, friend? I tell you all of the time about the dysfunction in life and about how even the dysfunction feels safe, so we keep running back to it. But the only place God can unfold is in the unknown. If it's already known, there's no space for the divine. Why do you think I tell you this all the time? Friend, I've been there. I never share something with you that hasn't pierced my own heart and journey first. In less than a year, I, lo I gained 15 kilograms for no reason. It was at that time I recognised something's up here. I was falling apart on the inside all over again. I couldn't understand why. What, why was peace escaping me? What was happening in my life? All I knew was that I'd lost my peace totally. I didn't know what to do. I remember I... I was with my sister, she was visiting me, and I was lying on the lounge, and I was just crying and crying like a little schoolboy who doesn't want to go to school tomorrow. And I knew in that moment I needed to get back to the countryside and recenter myself and continue my journey of inner work. So that's what I did. I sat down with this lady and I said, Listen, I'm so sorry, and I wish I could give you more of an explanation than this, but I have totally lost my peace over this. It's nothing to do with you. I don't even know what it is. But I have to be obedient with this. I'm thankful for the 10 months or 12 months we've had together. What a great time. I wish you all the best moving forward. But I've got to, I've got to go. I packed up and I moved back to the countryside. This was probably seven years ago now, maybe more. And that was the real start of my, like, my solid, solid... You know, I mean, I locked myself away. I didn't see friends. I don't like... I, I've, I've had family say to me that you're alienating yourself from family because you, you don't go to things and you don't this and you don't that. Friend, my inner work, my journey of healing and becoming who it is that I'm supposed to be is far more important than going to some barbecue in a park. Now, I don't mean to cause hurt and offence, but you need to understand that there will be people in your life that look at you and receive you as the version of you they know. And when that version begins to change, they'll scratch their heads and they'll wonder why. I'm not upset with those people in my family. I just recognise that they don't see the new version of me and that's okay. It's not up to me to show off to the world who it is that I am. Those who wish to be in relationship with me know who it is that I am. They've seen the journey. They've seen the unfolding. And I know the same is for you, friend. People will look at you and your life and they'll say, Gee, you've changed? Friend, you are supposed to change. You should not be the same. And here is the proof that the weight loss I got with the law of attraction. And you can do the same thing. Is all about alignment. See, I felt so good that I ran back to what I knew, but what I knew was what caused me to be the old version of me. I dropped out of alignment. In less than a year, the weight came 15 kilos. Now what happened? I moved back to the country within five months of being back in the country, I'd not just lost the 15 kilos, I'd lost more, I'd lost about 20 kilos, and I had changed nothing. Nothing changed except following my spirit, staying in alignment, and sometimes being in alignment means you're going to be in the unknown. And sometimes the unknown is scary, but friend, the whole point of this video is to say this. You can manifest any result that you want. Any dream in your heart, you can have it. The way you get there is by breathing life into the version of you that already exists 
in and of that. It's becoming that person already and not breathing life back into the old version of you. There are people and places and things and conversations that cause you to go unconscious. They cause you to start speaking the way you used to speak, start judging or whatever it might be. Stay away from those things. Move forward into the direction of your dreams. Stay in alignment because I stand before you as the proof. It's been something like seven years now or more that all of that weight has stayed off. While I've stayed in alignment and continued to move forward into the direction of my dreams and unfolded with that, my body just gets better and better. It's never been so strong. It's never been so good. And I tell you what, I'm 42 years old later this year, and I've never felt so good. I don't remember a time in my life ever feeling so healthy. And I'm thankful for that. It's alignment. There's no magic to it. See the new version of you. Put in the comments down below, I see the new version of me. I breathe life into the new version of me, friend. Make decisions every day that honor where it is that you are going, not where it is that you have been. Allow that to serve you to move forward, not to trap you. I love you. I'm so thankful for you. God bless you.